Hey everybody, Andre here, and today I'm going to be talking about three features of Sibelius Ultimate that you probably aren't using, but should be. Alright, the first feature is the System Objects Position feature. And basically this relates to any system object that you put down. So let me just put down a few random system objects so we can get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down a tempo marking. I'm going to just put it up on top. And notice, no matter where I click, it will yield the same results. So tempo test is what I'll say. And no matter where I put it, the cursor, it will put one right here up on top and then one down here above the marimba. Sibelius has defaulted this. Let me show you that no matter where I click, before I clicked up top, I'm going to click down here now. See how it goes up to the top. Now let's say you don't like that. Let's say you don't want to be saddled with this uh, this feature doing what it wants to do, but it, you want it to do what you want to do. So what you're going to go to is the Appearance tab. And right over here, there's a little button that says System Object Positions. So you're going to click that. And basically it says, this lets you choose which staves multiple system objects can appear above. And you can see Violin 1 and the first line of the marimba are where those system objects are placed. You can choose up to five. So I'm going to just click some random ones. So there's five. I'm going to hit OK. And you can see now we have more than the default. So if you wanted to use this for whatever reason, now you know how to do it. This works for more than just uh, this works for more than just tempo markings, of course. Any system object will work. So here's an acceleration. There we go. As you can see, we have now added it to more than just the regular position. All right, the next feature that I want to talk about is focus on staves. Now, undoubtedly, pretty much every Sibelius user has, at some point or another, used the hide or show empty staves function. But up until recently, I have never even noticed that this button exists. And this is so incredibly useful if you are trying to arrange some piece of music without wanting to, you know, start a new score or delete a bunch of stuff. Let's say that you want to just take an existing piece of music and really quickly isolate a few instruments and then turn that into a new thing. So what I'm showing you here is a massive orchestral piece that I wrote a few years ago. And as you can see, there are many, many instruments. But let's just say that I really wanted to arrange this for some smaller ensemble. So I'm just going to choose randomly. Piccolo, horn two, bass trombone, timpani, glockenspiel. And I think that's enough to show my point. And then you go over to the Focus on Staves button, which is under the Layout tab. You go ahead and hit that. And all you're left with is this. Everything else is hidden. Now, of course, my layout is locked right now. So if I hit the Unlock Format, let's see what happens. Something dramatic happened. So now we have a piece that instead of being for all of these instruments over here, now it's just arranged for this quintet of very strange instruments. And from here, you can do all the score editing that you need to do to make it look good, but literally it took about 10 seconds of work. Whereas normally you would have to go through and delete stuff, start a new file, copy paste, etc., etc. Now your work is significantly more efficient here. All right, so the last feature that I want to talk about is probably one that you may or may not have used before, but I just think it's worth mentioning because it is, you know, pretty powerful and, uh, yeah, really useful, and I use it a lot in my music. Um, and that's the Import Graphic feature. Um, you can find that under the Notations tab all the way on the right. It's a pretty little picture here. You can hit that, and you can import a graphic. 
Um, possible uses for this are, you know, if you want to make a watermark for a score that you're going to publish on your website and you want to maybe not have somebody just have free reign over it, uh, you can have a watermark embedded into it. Um, you can also import, you know, graphics for performance. So, for example, this piece I wrote and it really required a, sort of a specific kind of uh, performance setup. So I included this graphic, I made it in another program and imported it. Um, but let me just show you how to do this. Uh, so let me just find a random page. Um, how about this page? Great, what an excellent choice this is. So we're gonna go to Notations tab, which is already open. We're gonna slide over here to the graphic. We're gonna hit that. And we're just gonna find a picture that I think might be useful. Here's a smiley face. And I'm just gonna set it down right there, boom. And now our piece is looking really happy. And I'm going to just make this a massive smiley face. I mean, enormous. Bam. This is a really happy page. You can play with the color of it too. You can make it brighter. You can make it darker. <laughs> you can do all sorts of stuff. You can make it more or less opaque. So you can probably see the, the use of this when you're making watermarks. So really, really nice feature to know how to do it. And if we were done with our smiley face, we go over to our print preview, and let's just take a look at what happens. So we're just gonna flip through the pages. Ta -da, there's my performance setup. There's a couple of things here and there. Oh, there it is. Nice watermark smiley face. So I'm, I'm of course goofing around a little bit, but you can see the utility here. You can insert all sorts of stuff and it'll appear on the music as whatever you'd like it to be. Uh, I think definitely watermarks are the way to go with this. Okay, well, those were three useful features of Sibelius that you may or may not have been using before. If this w video was helpful to you, don't forget to leave a like, throw a subscription up to my channel, um, and I hope to see you on the next video.